Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I've got a special video for y'all. But before I start, I have to give a shout out to uh, Drake Yorm, the Mosin Canyon himself. He was very helpful in this video, and it really wouldn't have been possible without him. Um, a lot of the stats and generally the structure of this video was done by him. Uh, most of the clips in the background are done by him, and he really deserves a lot of credit for making this a possible project for me. Um, I mainly use burst guns realistically so uh, the idea the Xiaomi is not a burst gun so it's it's not realistic for me to be using it in any situation so I very much needed help on this video so let's really get into this now the Xiaomi KP31 it's a uh, very well-known weapon throughout the Vigor community pretty much a staple for most new players and some even later game play players and has long time been a very iconic weapon of the game. So first starting out with the history of the weapon, the KP-31, uh, Xiaomi KP-31, was designed in 1921 for the winter war between Finland and Russia. It was a useful firearm for the Finnish soldiers on the battlefields of the winter war, and many Finnish legends in the war, such as the White Death and the soldier who fought in three different factions of Larry, would use the weapon at some point. Um, by the time the war came to a close, the Russians were so impressed by the performance of the Xiaomi that they would make a weapon themselves that was inspired by the Xiaomi. Um, this weapon would start out as the PPD, but eventually be refined into the PPSH, another gun we have in Vigor. The Xiaomi in Vigor is a 71 round drum magazine weapon rather than the 26 round stick mag or 50 round casket magazines that were typically used in the Xiaomi in the Winter War. It uses the 9x19 Parabellium round, also known as the 9mm Luger round, as uh, this round was originally designed for the German Luger. In game, the Xiaomi isn't greatest stat wise. It's reliable, but it's not insane. Um, it has a fire rate of 800 bullets per minute. In single fire, it's pretty accurate, but it's very much meant to be a full uh, auto weapon. It's a great close quarters weapon, great for clearing buildings. But for a medium range, it's it's not it's not nothing insane. Uh, tap fire would be your best way of going about it. Um, and long range, you're gonna want to be going single fire while aiming down sights. The iron sights are really clean and not very bulky, but they're really just not the best. And there are much better examples throughout the game. Crafting wise, it is very cheap, only costing 2.6k materials per gun and two materials per bullet. The plan should be fairly easy to get as it will show up in white, uncommon, and blue crates, and itself is an uncommon weapon. Overall, uh, as a weapon, it's very easy to see why people gravitate towards this weapon. It's cheap, reliable, has a ton of rounds, and it's really not hard to get. Um, and Drake said he would give it a rating of 7 out of 10, despite it being one of the most iconic weapons in Vigor. Um, so, once again, huge thank you to Drake Yorm. This whole section about the stats, and most of it was written by him, so I am thankful. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to check out Drake Yorm's channel. I'll be leaving a link in the description, and my Discord in the description. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, more weapon reviews, give this video a like. And uh, I hope to see you all next time.